Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part three of the Storm DNA coil with Brian testing it as our stroker. We've discussed a bit about the ball in previous parts, so I'll focus on the ball reaction for Brian. I mean, it, it is on the house shot that's heavier, out, look really outside is out of play. It was pretty easy straight away to get a good line to the pocket on this house shot. He was going through around eight at the arrows with a very nice arc to the pocket with good carry. He thought it might hook a bit harder and go high a few times, but it didn't. It just held the length and that really round arc. He called it a slow walk to the pocket. So this lines up with Tyler and, and my feeling of calling the motion controlled. Uh, he did make a small move left and, and did see a bit more angle, which was nice. Uh, there's also still a clear out of bounds to the outside that Tyler and I saw, as I mentioned, which is a bit bizarre in a house shot, but that's a <laughs> topic for a different video. Uh, the clean, shiny cover really didn't help the ball manage the out of bounds edge at all. It, it was a nice shape, and again, theoretically, is sort of mid to fine ball with the limits of knowing it, it really is a bit smoother ball motion in that slot. But it did feel like it would have an, a fairly narrow window of space on lane. He also had a quick look with the original DNA and it didn't look, uh, I'm sorry, it did look a touch earlier and smoother, but again, in his words, it was splitting hairs, which is the same feedback Tyler and I had, you know, so ultimately it's like, is there a big enough difference to a lane shine DNA?